In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to make quick changes to a running program on your Go Crazy instance. In the previous demonstration, we've installed the webstat command. Now, in order to make changes to the webstat command, we're first going to clone the webstat command into a local directory. Now, we're going to say gok add dot so that gok will add a replace directive to use our local checkout instead of the module as available over the internet. And now we're just going to make an innocent change. We're going to replace webstat with web stored. So far, so good. So now we can use gok run to build this program and deploy it on our running go crazy instance. If we go back to our web interface and reload, we see that it now says web stored.